hey this is the truth again so in today's video i will show you to do digestion from a scan topo sheet map in arcgis software so let's start first of all to do digitization we need any kind of scan map so i have some scan topo sheets in my laptop where i have downloaded uh, before so and uh, it's not necessary that you need a topo sheet to do digestion uh, you only need a scan map which have latitudes and longitude present in that particular map at first I will bring that topo sheet which I have already uh, georeferenced and rectified it so in, the, in this topo sheet I will just take a small area uh, to show you all how to do the digitization and uh, we all know what digitization means. It's a conversion of vector data consists of points, line, and polygon feature from a raster data. And the raster data is this scan map. And we have to convert it into a point, line, or polygon feature, which is also called as vector data. So, uh, at first go to our catalog. Here, you have to click near this option and go to your representative folder where you want to work with it click a single click then right click it go to new then shift file so at first you have to make a shift file to draw a point or a line or polygon and give a name here what you want to draw and before creating your shape file at first you have to um, notice your area what type of physical features are present here and what you want to draw or what you want to digitize it so in my area there are settlements here river road or uh, maybe some forest are there uh, and uh, small bills are there uh, where i can draw in polygon uh, the forest can be drawn in polygon and uh, the bills are can be drawn in polygon river can be drawn in line also or in polygon also i will show you in line then uh, settlements can be in uh, points so at first i will take settlements and the name will be as settlement give the feature here as point as settlements can be shown only be shown in points uh, give the coordinate system here as WGS9084 click on OK again OK oh then here it's shown that the name has already existed in my folder click on OK given new another name then I have given settlements new OK zoom the area a little bit so that it's easy for us to take the points so these are settlements the red dotted points now we have <coughs> added the shape file here if your editor is not on click here click on right click then click then click on editor here go to editor then click on start editing now one more symbol is there see it's create features click on here again click on the layer where you want to draw now we can draw the points you can draw the whole settlements or I will give only in I will give the points only in some particular um, what I will say um, areas like where the name is there it's like where this is what Bhati Para I will take here then the Dia Bari <coughs> 
Maria Gong. Raina Dabari. So I have marked some settlements here. After finishing the editing, uh, the editing work. After that, again, click on save edits the editing part you have done. After that, we have to click on stop editing. It's done now. So uh, my settlements are done. After that, I will go again to catalog. Then uh, to my representative folder again, right, right click new shape file. Then I will draw uh, reverse. Then the feature will be as polyline. The coordinate system is WGS 984. Okay, then okay. Then again, in the same process, I will do as I have done during doing the settlements. See here, there are there are two options here, settlements and the reverse. So while editing, you should be careful that uh, if you want to edit on reverse, then you have to click on reverse. Now I will continue to draw the river here. Just tune a little bit. In this video, I will show you just a small part of the digitization process, how uh, how the digitization procedure is done. In this way, uh, we can digitize any kind of map. I will end up here now. I will save it and again stop the editing part. Now for polygon feature, I will just take a small part of the forest here. One forest is there. It's uh, Kathi, Kathi Gacha Reserve Forest. I will just take a small part of area uh, from this forest to show you all how we can draw polygon. Again, go to our catalog, new, and make a shape file list first. The feature type will be as polygon. Okay. So I will start from here. Make sure that you draw the boundaries. Uh, it can be a polygon feature or a line feature. Make sure that the boundaries you draw in a smooth way. It, sh it should not be in a rough way because it looks very bad. To give a smooth view, uh, 
just zoom the picture a little bit so that you mark the parts properly so i have completed a uh, small area from the forest uh, where i have took it's katri khacha reserve forest just a small uh, area i have to just to show you all how to do uh, polygon feature so i have completed th three features till now the settlements rivers and forest uh, now i will untick the topo sheet view and show you all how it look like so this is the area of the forest and the river goes from here and these are the settlements that I, that I have took uh, in this way uh, we in this way we have to do the digitization process in any uh, kind of map uh, if someone used to provide, uh, give us to do the digitization, then we have to do in this procedure in this way, uh, like create create a shape file. After that, you have to uh, work or edit edit it by drawing uh, points, a line, or a polygon. So an area I have already uh, digitized it. I want to show you all how I have done it. What, what features I have shown here. Uh, I will explain you all how I have done this digitization. At first, I have drawn a boundary by making a polygon shape file. After that, I have I have continued by uh, editing the point features, uh, uh, polygon features, and line features. And and you can see in my layer layers. What what shape files are there? Mm, I have shown the palms or other trees. It's like uh, trees. Trees are there. This symbol identifies the palms, palms or trees, and uh, the red round dots and a red uh, triangle shape are identified as settlements. I will zoom you all a little bit. After the temples are there. Uh, these are all point features, trees, places, settlements, temples are in point features. After the inline feature, I have shown uh, car track. That means the road, uh, a road which is named as a car track. The line uh, is in, in brown color. This one. After that, contour lines are also shown here. These are the contour lines here. Uh, metal loads are shown. This is a metal road. Power line is shown. Release a railway check has also been shown here. This one after that, our metal roads are also shown. After that, uh, in polygon feature, I have shown a tea garden. This this is a tea garden here. Then, after that, uh, bill, then a forest are shown here. And the yellow color part is the agriculture. This are agriculture and the forest part is here. And the rivers are shown in a polygon because I thought that uh, if I draw in polygon feature, it will, it will look very beautiful instead of drawing in a line feature. See, I have also shown the sandbars here. I will untick it. See. This is the area I have digitized it. That's all. So that's all for now. Uh, in the next video, I will show you all how to work uh, in attribute data. This is attribute data here. Uh, right click it and op open it. This is the table, which is known as attribute table. 
in depth in that table we can add more uh, shape file uh, sorry in that particular shape file we can add more features like if this point feature is there more features we can add in that uh, particular table and we can edit it so this all things and how we can change it change the symbol how we can change the color uh, in the next video i will show you all in a proper way so that's all for now if you all have liked my video then hit the like button and don't hesitate to ask your queries you all can share your queries or your opinions in the comment section down below and lastly don't forget to subscribe my channel we'll see you soon till then bye bye